You ready? Yeah. You ready? Okay. Hey. We're ready. to report that my flight to and from Copenhagen um, was not traumatic at all like my Norway one. I don't think anything can be as traumatic and terrible as my flights to and from Norway. Only up from there. <laughs> all right, we're leaving in about a half hour. You're so sad, Mommy. Yeah, and I'm so sad. I was fine until right now. I will be I'm mommy. really sad. What am I gonna do without these two? But well, I love you. I love you. Aww. Did you just kiss Christian's foot? <laughs> oh. Oh. So sorry. Uh. I had an overnight flight to Copenhagen and I cannot for the life of me sleep on a plane. So I pulled an all-nighter. And then I had all of Friday to sightsee with my jet lag and it was exhilarating. Okay, tell me where we are. <laughs> We're at Frederiksborg Slot. Okay. Frederiksborg Castle in Hillerød, north of Copenhagen. How long ago was that that this was like an active castle? And then you pick it. You pick it when it's in bloom. Yeah. There's only like a week. You pick it, and then you put it in water with lemon and some sugar and some different stuff.
are the Carl Block originals. Oh my gosh. like this little hill to eat dinner outside on a hill to watch deer. Now I know Sigo Ross is from Iceland and we are definitely not in Iceland but being on that hill eating and seeing all these kids run around I just kept thinking like of Sigo Ross songs in my head. <laughs> family who just happens to be the bishop and his wife they asked me if I wanted to go rollerblading in downtown Copenhagen and I said yeah let's do it <laughs> um, I didn't know that that meant 14 miles through Copenhagen on rollerblades I haven't I don't know I'm not physically equipped for 14 miles of anything but I am so proud of myself because I did all right I'm you want to say hi we are going rollerblading? <laughs> I honestly haven't put on rollerblades since I was like maybe eight. Anybody want some gum? I'll take some gum. Nice. Uh, and we're gonna rollerblade downtown Copenhagen. <laughs> Look at all of these bikes, you guys. just have no words to describe seeing Copenhagen, all of Copenhagen, at nighttime on rollerblades and just skating through the whole city for over like two and a half hours. That was honestly one of the highlights of my life, was that. It was awesome. All right, today is Saturday, getting ready to speak. Just wanted to show you an update. The gnarliest blister. Do you see how big that thing is? 
Saturday, day two. This was uh, the first time out of two times that I went and spoke, so I island hopped to speak at a, like a half day women's conference. Okay, so we're leaving the Copenhagen island and now we're crossing to a different island, right? Yeah. Food. What is that? Food. here at the women's conference. We're at like, this university that they have. <laughs> she has a dead mom. <laughs> um, I don't know how, but I feel more jet lagged after a night of sleep. My body hates me from rollerblading, but I think we all saw that coming, so whatever. <laughs> Say it. No. Here's the grocery store in the main road. <laughs> Just right here. <laughs> so here's the church building right there one of the girls that I met this morning at the women's conference is getting baptized today uh, and so I asked if I could come um, and here we are I we were supposed to go apple picking today with my host family I kind of ditched them and they're apple picking to go to her baptism and I'm so excited how awesome this is this is their church Hello. Hi everyone. So she, I met her this morning at the women's conference. Yes. Just got baptized. Yep. The you are, <laughs> are yeah, from yeah. Lithuania. Yep, Lithuania. And you were just in England. Yes, I studied in England and I came to Copenhagen for work. And you met the missionaries on a pilgrimage? Yeah, in Camino Santiago. Oh my gosh, what a crazy story. Yeah, it's amazing. The spirit that I felt at her baptism. Indescribable. Oh, indescribable. And it's just those moments of like, yeah. This is what it's all about, like doing these things and feeling this way and really just like this whole entire trip was just a spiritual high and unforgettable. Like I just, this changed my life like this. The past four days just like my life is altered for the better. I the Church of Jesus Christ of the Saints is the only true church here on earth. Can you say it in? A different language. Det kan love til jer, at Jesus Christ er kirke, er det statslig, er det eneste kirke, som er sært her på jorden. Og det kan vi love til dig, vi ved, at Jesus Christ er sådan her, og det er hans kirke her på jorden. Okay, say hi, say whatever. Hello. Day three, which is Sunday, I went to church, and that was what I was most looking forward to, is going to church. Church was amazing. After church, we had lunch with the missionaries and some of their family. Hello! Oh, that's a great thing to say. What do is that? This I put so him on the spot. Okay. All right, Bishop, what words of wisdom do you have for us? Live in peace. That's great. I'm his son. I'm cool. And if you want to play Fortnite with me, my name is Benji Poo. Benjamin <laughs> Benjamin. We're gonna get some other friends, Benny. Yeah. And and basketball. Instagram show. I'm cool. Also basketball. basketball. Yeah. There you go. And then we went to go and sightsee a little bit. who was a sculptor. 
that his idea was, he walked into the church and straight, yeah, straight on you to see Jesus. Yeah. And he wants people, you know, Jesus wants you to come to him. So you have to walk towards Jesus. And for you have to come to Jesus, you have to listen to the advice of all the apostles that you, that the you see on the yeah. right here. And to be able to get to Christ, you have to go through baptism. And that's why the baptism font is right smack in the middle. Oh. Pioneers. There was 24,000 Danes, is that how you say it? That went to America. This is called the American Harbor, the ships that would leave to go to America. And her name is Christina. The church put her here to represent all of the pioneers that went. 20,000 people, like members, is a lot of members, but there's only 4,000 members in all of Denmark now, so you can see just how much that really was for that area. I am about ready to head out and speak, and this is the dress I wanted to wear, and then I don't know what happened. But I learned years ago, as a public speaker, always travel with a backup dress. This is why. This is why. <laughs> We're back again. Back again. Whoop, whoop, whoop. About to speak. I think so as well. Okay. Look at these people. Is this people good? even came from Hamburg. Where is that far? Uh, Germany. That's, far, that's Germany. Germany, yeah. Yeah, that's, 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 so that's, 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 that's good. That's those guys. Germany. Oh my goodness. That's awesome. <laughs> I just said they could come up here and sit. Oh, oh. Okay, we did it. We did it. Time to go. Yeah, you want to be on it? Perfect. The spirit that I felt, like, this is why I do it, you know? I am changed. It's just, I just, I just have no words. It's just so good. Yeah. Then I woke up bright and early Monday and I spent the entire day flying home and it feels good to be home. <laughs> oh, I missed you so much. Uh, for the first time in what week are we on? Like 34 weeks? I'm going to use a message that someone else wrote and not my own. I'm going to read parts of a poem that someone read it in sacrament meeting while I was in Copenhagen. And it was a really good reminder even though I heard it forever ago. So I'm going to read that for this week's message and montage and I'll start the music. And I'll see you next week. I am part of the fellowship of the unashamed. The die has been cast. The decision has been made. I have stepped over the line. I won't look back, let up, slow down, back away, or be still. My past is redeemed. My present makes sense, and my future is in God's hands. I no longer need preeminence, posterity, position, promotions, applause, or popularity. I don't have to be right, first, the best, recognized, praised, regarded, or rewarded. I now live by faith. I lean on Christ's presence. I love with patience, live by prayer, and labor with the power of God's grace. My face is set. My gate is fast. My goal is heaven. My road is narrow. My way is rough. My companions are few. My guide is reliable. And my mission is clear. I cannot be bought, compromised, detoured, lured away, turned back, deluded, or delayed. I will not flinch in the face of sacrifice, hesitate in the presence of adversity, Negotiate at the table of the enemy, ponder at the pool of popularity, or meander in the maze of meteorocracy. <laughs> I won't give up, shut up, let up, or slow up until I have stayed up, stored up, prayed up, paid up, and spoken up for the cause of Christ. I am a disciple of Jesus. I must go until he comes, until I drop, speak out until all knows, and work until he stops me. 
and when he returns for his own, he will have no difficulty recognizing me. My banner is clear. I am part of the fellowship of the unashamed.